Hello, good morning. Welcome to KC Video Devotionals for Couples. Today is the 21st of May. My name is Oni Elizabeth. Our topic for today is how to love your spouse when it's tough. Sometimes loving is hard and our love seems to be failing. Professing your love seems a futile effort. It just seems as though you are not getting through to your spouse. Don't give up yet. Romans 5 verse 8, but God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinners means while we were yet unlovable, lacked understanding of God's love, couldn't receive God's love, had difficult, stubborn, unrepentant, and hateful. When we had all the bad habits that could put anyone off, Christ died for us. In dying, it means the highest form of sacrifice anyone could think of. It seems the highest form of sacrifice and to be endured by anyone. Dying was a big deal, but death on the cross was a greater deal. Jesus endured very great hardship on the cross, and it was not just for a few minutes. It was for hours. First, he had to carry the cross, a heavy piece of furniture, up hills amongst beating, scourging, railing, and scoffing of so many people. What a shame he had to endure. And the pain on the cross, it cannot be imagined. He had a thorn of crown. He was nailed hands and feet. His beards were pulled out and he was pierced on the side. Yet that was sacrifice he had to pass through for you and I. He was separated from his father when he died for three days. He died and he actually went to hell. He carried our sins, all of it. He carried our pain, sorrows, grief, shame, sickness, diseases, affliction, and every known kind of suffering, spiritually, physically, and emotionally, he took them all. He had to pass through all these afflictions known to man. This he did that he might be a worthy savior, saving the spirit, soul, and body. When loving your spouse is tough and it seems a hard thing to do, look up to Jesus. The Bible says looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him and he endured the cross. It was a tough experience. It was a tough endurance for Jesus. But thank God he did. Your spouse must have at least loved you and that is why you got married in the first place. For us and Jesus, there was no mutual love. We didn't even know him. We didn't appreciate him because we never understood what he did. I want to encourage us, keep loving your spouse. The love of God has been shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit. We have God's kind of love, the love that is patient and kind. First Corinthians 13. Be patient with your spouse. This is the love that overcomes. Love never fails. Meditation for the day. First Corinthians 13 verse 4. Message translation. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head. Prayer for the day. Pray to be endued with strength from the Spirit of God to help you love your spouse in tough times. Declare liberty to your marriage from every grief of the enemy. Pray that love will rule in your marriage and family. Confession for the day. I know the way of love. I am patient with my spouse. I permit the love of God that is shed abroad in my heart to flow to my spouse. I know how to give love and my spouse knows how to receive love. My spouse knows how to give love and I know how to receive love. We joy in the love of the Father. Our marriage is full of bees. No matter the terrain we ride upon, we are strengthened by the Holy Ghost. Action plan for the day. We commit yourself to each other. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international details, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandhouse.com slash God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kada Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandhouse.com slash books.
If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch it with us at Shouts of Grace Centre. It's at Joker Plaza, the side trans amusement park, Auditor UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You'll have a lot of resources for your soul.